are not all movie stars. Uh, we're not even all video stars, uh, but it would seem like maybe that's where we're headed. Uh, most of us would feel out of place on a movie set, you know, when the director yells, quiet on the set, and then yells, action. For some people, though, being in front of a camera, a movie camera, is natural. Uh, for many of us, though, we get self-conscious. Uh, what if we had to memorize lines? What if we had to pretend to be someone we're not, and stand in the right place, and interact with someone? Well, Frankly, some of us are just really good out of it, and many of us are not. Uh, and a lot of us are in the middle. Not really a problem to get in front of a movie or video camera, but, you know, not as natural or as good, as effective as Dustin Hoffman or Meryl Streep. Yet still a little self-conscious as to how we look, how we are perceived, how other people see and relate to us. But with video exploding on social media... Uh, Gosh, at least that's what I've read. Most uh, companies, many companies and many entrepreneurs are moving into video big time. And I mean, big time. Hi, this is Tim Patterson, Trade Show Guy. And this is Trade Show Guy Monday Morning Coffee. You're either watching or listening. Uh, if you like what you're hearing and or seeing, head on over to YouTube and or uh, Apple Podcast and leave a review or a comment. Would love to hear that. Uh, thank you for taking just a few moments. I realize this week is Christmas week. Next year is next week is New Year's week. Uh, I may not be here next week. I'm, I'm kind of planning that I may not. I'm, I'm not even sure why I'm here this week. It's Christmas Eve when the day when this thing gets posted. But I thought, what the heck? I'll just do it, you know. Next week, uh, if I'm not here, I'll be here the following week for sure. So let's talk about video. Uh, video is big. People watch a lot of video. They watch on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat. Uh, you may recall earlier in the year, I think it was October, there was a story out. A uh, class action lawsuit filed against Facebook brought by a bunch of uh, advertisers that alleges Facebook substantially overstated the metrics related to videos on the network, but did nothing about it for a year to correct that information. Uh, Facebook, of course, immediately pushed back, saying they had fixed the error as soon as they discovered it. But the suit says that according to a review of more than 80,000 pages of internal documents, uh, metrics were off by anywhere from 150% to 900%, which meant that advertisers hoping for engagement with video on Facebook were basically not getting their money's worth. They claim they were being cheated by the inflated numbers. So hence the lawsuit. And is there that much engagement on Facebook? Well, there's certainly a lot, but not as much as they were saying. Uh, one more note on the story. Video advertising has become one of Facebook's most lucrative streams of income, which meant that companies shifted more resources in the form of time and money and personnel to creating and advertising those videos. Uh, does this mean because of that lawsuit and the overinflated numbers, you shouldn't do video? Well, no, of course not. Video is there. People watch a lot of it. I mean, a lot. According to WordStream, a lot of statistics from 2018 that show how much Video is being watched. 82% uh, of Twitter users watch video content on Twitter. I'm one of those. 45% uh, of people watch more than an hour of Facebook or YouTube videos in a week. I'm probably one of those more often than not. 80% of online marketers use video. Uh, one third of online activity is spent watching video. A third, fully a third. And half of that is on a smartphone. 85% of internet users watch video online. Uh, millennials, those currently aged about 25 to 34, watch the most online videos. Men spend 40% more time than women of that age. Uh, so I mentioned the smartphone. What about, what about uh, mobile video engagement? Well, 51% of video content is viewed right here on mobile. 92% of mobile video viewers share videos with others. 90% of Twitter video is watched on a mobile device. 10 billion videos are watched daily on Snapchat. Maybe I should get involved in Snapchat. I don't know. I'm not there. Social video generates 1,200% more shares than text and images combined. Uh, well, well, how about a couple of notes about the video itself? A video is up to two minutes long. Get the most engagement. So keep it below two minutes. You're going to get much more engagement. 85% of Facebook videos are watched without sound because they just start up and there's no sound until you, you know, click the button and make it, make it sound, but people still watch them 85%. So video is here to stay and it's going to keep getting bigger. So are you doing video? Does your company have a strategy around video? What about using video at events such as conferences and trade shows, which is what we like to talk about here on trade show guy 
Monday Morning Coffee. If you just Google something like how to use video at trade shows, you'll get a lot of great ideas. I've blogged about this before. A couple ideas. Uh, well, more than a couple, a handful. Uh, create a quick and short teaser for an upcoming appearance at a show. One idea, good idea. How about make up a uh, FAQ, a frequently asked question or frequently answered question video about the show. Some big shows such as CES have created navigation videos to help people find their way around. A very good thing if you've never been there before in particular. How about a behind the scenes video? What goes on prior to the show being open to the public, like the booth and all that stuff being set up? That's kind of interesting to see, especially if you've never seen it before. Put together a video of cool places for visitors to see while in the city. Never been to uh, Anaheim or something? There's lots of things to do there. And if you have a couple hours off, it might be fun to go see some of those things. Uh, do a live segment from the show floor. You can tape testimonials from happy customers and clients. You can interview partners or management or sponsors. And then, of course, shoot a lot of video. You don't have to release it all at once, but you can, pi can compile a post-show highlight reel. That's always fun, too. So however you approach it, my only other advice would be to be yourself. You can't be anybody else. You can't be, you know, there's only one Gary Vaynerchuk. There's only one Emma Stone. There's only one George Clooney. Uh, so don't be them. Be who you are. Be the best you. If you're a little shy in front of a camera, that's okay. Be a little shy. It takes time. Video is easy to shoot. I mean, you have a high quality video camera right there in your pocket all the time on your phone. Editing software is easy to work, uh, but if that's a challenge and Maybe find somebody in your company to do it or hire someone to do it. And keep experimenting. Try Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or post video on LinkedIn for business. Uh, try Snapchat. Maybe I should try that and do video. huh? And remember, it is a process. You'll never get to perfection, and that doesn't matter. Just keep on moving forward. All right, that wraps up this week's Trade Show Guy Monday Morning Coffee. Uh, one good thing. We have one good thing. I'm just going to say Merry Christmas and have a good Christmas. I'm going to be skiing all day Christmas and hopefully in fresh powder. So uh, either catch you next week or the following week. It's kind of up in the air, just like me when I'm skiing. All right. So <laughs> have yourself a great one. Tim Patterson, Trade Show Guy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.